Good afternoon guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, we're at Native Avenue today, uh, local spot of mine in Mount Barker. Um, gonna see what's up here. Um, re really good diversity up here, um, but it can be a bit hit and miss when, uh, as to when stuff is actually flowering, uh, and it's been a long time since I've actually come up here looking for orchids, so we'll see what we find. Um, it is, as you can see behind me there, uh, in a railway corridor. Uh, railway corridor, it is what it is. Uh, it's a Steam Ranger Heritage Railway that operates here, so it is an active railway line. Um, so yeah, just gotta be conscious if you are looking for orchids up here uh, to be aware of that. Um, the trains can sneak up on you, particularly uh, if they're coasting downhill from Philcox Hill. Um, but yeah, for the most part, we're on top of the cuttings here. As you can see, we're well above track level. A lot of grade separation and we're well away from the tracks themselves. Um, and there is a, you know, fairly well defined walking trail on both sides here that we can follow. Um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna wander up here. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna see at this time of year. Probably donkey orchids. So the diara species should be the wallflowers and the Leopard donkeys should be flowering at the moment. Um, probably some of the finger orchids. It's either Caledonia carnea or Caledonia fuscata. Um, probably going to have some Telemetra species in bud. I don't think they'll be uh, like in flower today. It's kind of mostly cloudy. Some patchy sun. It's nice when the sun comes out, but it's breezy and cold otherwise. Um, yeah, we might see some helmet orchids, so the Corybar species. We've seen both Diamanicus and um, Incurvus up here. So that's the veined helmet orchid and the slaty helmet orchid. Uh, we might be a little late for those. Also seen Telstylus nutans uh, and Pedunculata up here. So the Nodding Green Hood and the Maroon Hood. Uh, and I think we're far too early for like Caledonia tentaculata, so we'll see. Um, seeing plenty of the blue grass lilies around at the moment. Well, those only a few flowers. It's probably a good example over here. Nice one there. The yellow ones don't look like they're flowering yet. Which uh, the yellow ones here are the bulbine lily, I think. Low lilies aren't really my thing, so. I um, have actually seen the glowing mushrooms here in the past as well. Can't remember the uh, scientific name off the top of my head. I know it's, it's something like Omphilotus or Nidiformis, something like that, I reckon. But yeah, they've been on the inside of the cutting, so. Anyway, I'll bring you in if I uh, find something of interest. Alrighty, so I almost walked straight past them because the uh, the light is shining wrong for me on this side of the track. But we have found some Dioris orchids down in here. So these appear to be the wallflower donkey orchids, which I'm going to get my scientific names mixed up here, but I think it is Dyrus orientis is the wallflower ones. Nice little group of them there. These are uh, quite prolific up here. Um, there is also Dyrus pardina, which flower a little bit earlier, so potentially we've already missed those for the year. Um, but you never know, we might see some. So we're just, the railway line's up there now, so we've just worked our way off the top of the cutting and we're going down the side of this embankment. Probably the next, uh, next cutting is where I've seen most of the orchids here. So, might bring you back in when we get up there. Alright, 
so just come up from down there in the creek line. Um, we are going to work our way up this side of the cutting, but there is always a nice patch of wallflower donkey awkwards over here, so we'll go have a look at that before we um, head up. There's always stacks of them here in this spot. And these guys are opened right up. Camera likes to focus on these ones because they're a very popping contrast to what's behind, which is nice. Yeah. So these are all Dyrus orientis, the wallflowers. I haven't seen any leopard donkey orchids yet. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably mostly what we're going to see today. So I'm just going to grab a few photos of these and then we'll continue wandering up. So it does look like here we are very early in the season for the orchids in this area, or for the most part. Um, there is other stuff flowering though. You've got the peas here. Uh, provide a nice pop of colour. And uh, got these, which are a type of wattle. This might be a honey myrtle, I'm not entirely sure. Um, lots of blue, blue grass lilies. There's uh, stacks of these around. Um, we do have billy buttons up here as well. And unfortunately there is lots and lots of like uh, the invasive species, I think species, I think it's called Sparaxis up here, uh, which isn't flowering yet, and freezes and such. Um, yeah. I haven't seen any telemetry buds yet, which is probably a good indication of just how early we are in this orchid season. There's normally a patch of red ones here somewhere. Uh, not seeing it at the moment, so they might not even be up in bud yet. Um, this whole woodland up here on this side of the tracks is just filled with telemetra, uh, like come like October, November time. Um, it's just amazing. Yeah, at the moment, we're just seeing like the donkey orchids all over the place. The one down there. Another couple over here as well. I reckon some of these are potentially a cross between uh, Dyrus Pardina and Dyrus Orientis, but don't really know enough about it to be honest to comment. And got the billy buttons flowering here, or starting to flower. Actually, got some of the I think these are a tetratheca, like a pink bells plant. But yeah, it's kind of slim pickings for flowers at the moment. These billy buttons always seem to attract like the native bees. I'm not sure what the species is, but they always seem to be on them. Can I focus? There we go. All right, we'll keep wandering up. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on some of the moss patches up here for helmet orchids. And I'll bring you back in when we find something new. So, there's heaps of orchids here. They're not in flower at the moment, but I figured I'd mention it because it's one of the largest colonies I've seen pretty much anywhere I go, and they're generally a big colony-forming orchid. Uh, we've got... Acanthus bacillus down here, which is the small mosquito orchid. And it's just a huge colony. They're finished flowering for the year, unfortunately. But you can see all these little heart-shaped leaves all over the place. It's just one big colony 
of those mosquito orchids. It goes all the way back over there. And it's still going all the way over there as well. Right up to the edge of the embankment, really. Or the edge of the cutting, I should say. Um, they flower quite early here, so they're all done for the year already. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if I actually managed to show that last year in a video. I'm not sure if I was up here at the right time, because I was living in the Murraylands at the time. Um, but yeah, figured I'd mention it. May not see any of the quarry bars until we get over to the other side and then going back down that way. It's a little bit damper. But um, I actually think these are quarry bar sleeves down here. Like this colony here at the base of the tree. But I'm not seeing any of the flowers spent or active or otherwise. So. We're going to keep trucking along. They kind of look like gum nuts, to be honest, and they can be hard to differentiate from their surrounds. A lot of these around too, which I think is... Uh, I think it's called Stackhousia. Like creamy candles or bushy candles. Um, there's a couple of different types, and again, not in my wheelhouse, so I don't really know the difference between them. But uh, yeah, pretty slim pickings at the moment, so I'm just going to keep wandering. So I've come about three steps since the last cut, and we've found some of the other donkey orchid, which is the Dyrus pardina, which is the leopard donkey orchid. They're a, a much more petite flower. Similar sort of colour palette, but much different patterns. Um, yeah, so that's cool. There's another, I did see another one over there to my left somewhere. And I have just noticed here there is some Caledonia carnea, but they've been chewed up. So hopefully we'll be able to find a better example of those. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to find a better example of those. There's plenty of those here as well. But yeah, I'm just going to take a photo of these donkeys and then we'll keep moving on. I, uh, I keep cutting the video and uh, keep spotting something else. So I've just seen our first uh, maroon hood as well, Peristylus pedunculata. So we'll just, uh, I'm literally in the same spot as those donkeys. Uh, so the donkeys are just there. And if we pull back out, just right on the edge of the trail here, got Peristylus pedunculata. This guy here. That's the maroon hood orchid. Growing out of its little, it's got a rosette down here of leaves. In amongst the moss. Yeah, so they're, they're pretty, there's like, they're certainly not a uh, flashy elaborate orchid like some of the Caledonia we've seen, but uh, yeah, they generally form small colonies, but I can only see the one right here right now um there is there is other rosettes here um but i can't see the one flower currently i'm sure we're going to see many more once we get over the other side of the cutting there right, i'll take a photo of this guy and we'll move on it's got a nice assorted patch of dire species here so we've got Nice little patch of the wallflowers here, right up to the uh, edge. And then, so you got wallflowers here again, and then right next to them, we've got a little leopard. So you can see they do have some crossover time in their flowering period, which is why they can hybridize. Um, we've got another leopard down there, more 
wallflowers over there. Yeah, nice little spot of them. I haven't spotted any other of the like Caladina, Caladinia, Carnia or anything yet. Um, but we're going to keep our eyes out. I've seen a few of these tags around though, which are, what's this one? Convolvulus augustissimus. There was a couple back further on the track that were labelled as Wallenbergia stricta. Let's see what this one is. Also, Convolvulus Augustissimus, which at a guess is uh, this little sort of arrow headed vine down here. Uh, one of those, anyway. Again, not my area of expertise. I don't have an area of expertise, just a hobbyist, but yeah, this one's labelled as Weilenbergia stricta. From memory, Weilenbergia has put up like a Single little blue flower, quite tall. Later on in orchid season, perhaps even after orchid season into summer. Another little pardina down here. Alrighty, this is pretty much our turning around point. We're going to cross over the tracks here and then head back down the other side. Um, on the other side, I hopefully find the Caledonia carnea, um, Fuscata or whatever it is. Sorry, I'm still zoomed in. Got Phil Cox Hill up that way. Back down to Native Avenue Road crossing that way. But yeah, we're just going to cross over here. And we're going to head back along this way. So, uh, no more of the Caledonia Carnea yet, which I'm a little bit surprised at. I normally would, well, last time I came here at this time, I found plenty of them along this side, in amongst, like, this grass. Um... I'm seeing plenty of the colonies of the Cory Bars, but uh, that's not even Cory Bars here. This is the green hoods that are not in flower at the moment. Uh, little rosettes and stuff down here. Um, there's a big colony of the Cory Bars back where I've just come from. I've spotted a another maroon hood though, just here. leaning over a bit that one so you can see there's, there's lots of rosettes here so maybe I'm not sure if they're not flowering haven't flowered yet uh, or have already flowered but not seeing too many of them currently yeah, here's a good example of the spider hole here I, won't stick, I think it's down there because it's a sizable hole but um, yeah, you can see the Cory Bass leaves here. Um, plenty of them there, but no flowers. I think we've probably missed the flowering window for those. That's all right. Um, oh, there's a... So we've got a um, Pardina here, Dyrus Pardina. And I have just spotted a Caledonia over here, which is nice. It's a nice example too. So just here. Just a little one. So this is similar to what we were seeing at uh, Potter Scrub. In fact, it's probably the same species, I think, uh, in the last video. Really nice example too. I'm going to take a photo of that one. That's another one over here. There's one behind me as well. So they are, they're just small. So it takes a little bit to spot them. You're going to focus for me. 
that one there. There's another one there. And there's one just behind me here as well. See, so yeah, good to have found a little patch of those. Just gonna uh, take a photo and then we'll move on. So the main like spider orchid species that we get here in this uh, area is uh, Caledonia tentaculata. In fact, it's pretty much the only one here in the Mount Barker area. Um, we're a little early for those, but I have just stepped over a couple of them here. So they're in bud, they're not too far off. Um, yeah, they have a hairy leaf, big hairy stem. These look like they're gonna be quite small examples but they can get like 40, 50 centimeters tall and like a flower that opens out to be, you know, like almost a span of your palm. So they're quite a specky flower, but they are incredibly common in this area of the hills. I'm not sure if they're nationally common or whatever, but they are certainly the most prevalent spider orchid in this area. A couple more of the diorists just flowering here. Oh, this looks like it's actually our first uh, telemetra here. So this will be the, I think it'll be the grander flora. Um, there are a couple of blue species here that I'm just not very good with. Um, yeah, it's the first one I've seen. There might be another one just there, I think. And then there's another variety there. So there's heaps of sun orchids here, and they all tend to open up at roughly the same time, but yeah, we're probably... Another one there. We're quite a ways off that at the moment, so... That'll be a follow-up trip in a uh, month's time. I was going to do it last year and I just never got around to it. All right, I'm going to keep wandering along. You can see they're all budding up here. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be plenty of them. Oh, that shouldn't be there. Looks like a geranium. Just a weird sort of, hmm, growing from just a stick that's been left behind by someone. Wallflower donkeys here, leopards here. Yeah, plenty about. All right, we're gonna keep wandering along. Pretty much seen all the orchids that we're going to see here, I think, because I think we've, uh, as I said earlier, missed the flowering window for the quarry bars. So, yeah. I'll bring you back in if I find anything interesting or spectacular to look at. All right, so uh, not orchids, but for those playing along, these are the uh, ball bean lilies, the yellow version, basically the yellow version of that blue grass lily. Um, didn't think we we're going to find any in flower. From my experience, they flower a bit later than the blue ones. Uh, there's another one here. And they're quite tall. That's like a bit over knee high on me. So, yeah, that's cool to see. Sun's nice when it comes out. So we're pretty much back to where that patch of wallflower orchids is, yes, just in here. Right. So I'm just going to walk along the tracks and to the next uh, cutting. I keep my wits about me and uh, yeah, bring you back in room with there. So still just walking along the tracks and it's often a good spot to see the lizards, although it's mostly the common uh, garden skinks up here. 
I don't know how close he's gonna let me get before he runs off again. Just a little garden sun skink down here. These guys are everywhere. Almost at the end of the uh, stretch on the tracks here. Sun's out again, although it looks like we may get rained on soon. Only five minutes from the car here. All right, we're gonna wander up the little path here and uh, yeah, see what we find. Hey guys, we're, uh, we're gonna call that good for this little walk. Um, yeah, I might head up to Mount Barker Summit now. It's not a place I've done a video on before, so uh, perhaps I'll record while I'm up there. Um, it's probably the only spot here in the hill, like Mount Barker Summit that is, the only spot here in the hills where I've actually found pink fairy orchids, which again is what we were looking at last video, pot of scrub. Um, I don't know why they're not here. We're only like five, ten minutes from Mount Barker Summit here and yeah, just don't seem to get the pink fairies here, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that as its own video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this one. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hooroo.